it's Holly with Ivy Cool Creations and today I'm working on a coast to coast collaboration layout. Now this layout we are doing um, the deck of Story by Stacy, and it's supposed to be about me, a one word title, layers, and then you had to add a little bit of stitching. So for this I pulled out this little tiny kit that I had and it was just the blue piece of paper with these scraps in it and I just cut them into banners, decided to tape them down, and create some layers behind my photo. Um, this photo is of um, me and my girlfriends Zooming during 2020 when we actually could not leave our houses. You were only allowed to leave your house if you were going grocery shopping or actually going to work and you had an essential job. Um, so yeah. <laughs> needless to say I spent a lot of time at home um so I we had fun playing with filters <laughs> and I used this star paper to layer up behind my photos and um get it all down and situated I really like this one and I like the way that I did the photos too um, sticking them all on one piece and kind of making it step down that gave it a really interesting look and it gave me a really unique place to place all of my clusters I really love how this one turned out so I don't use a sewing machine uh, to stitch on my layouts so I have this Tim Holtz stitching stamp and I have cut the end off of it because it had like a knot I think and I didn't want the knot I had other ones that have knots um so this was just the longest one that I had and I loved it this um journaling piece is a stamp from Wild Whisper and uh it's my new favorite stamp so that made me really happy and I got that down and tucked down and then I started playing with my title. So I have these letters and I think it's Heidi Swap or Pink Fresh Studio. I can't remember which, but they're old. They're like 2015 or 16 or something like that. They've been around for a while. Anyway, I just literally stamped over top of them in Chip Sapphire and that's just the Distress Ink. And then I just took some water and spread it around. Um, so I kind of got like a two-tone looking watercolor title. And I love the way it turned out. I was, I don't have any navy thickers, so I love the way that it turned out. Now I have all of this ephemera that has like chairs and lamps, clocks, all sorts of things like that. And I couldn't think of another layout that I was going to use this stuff on. So I decided to pile up as much as possible <laughs> on this layout. <laughs> oh. I also had a couple things from a previous like pandemic um, ephemera kit. And it said, I'm prioritizing my mental health. And I, I love that that piece of ephemera. That's like one of my favorite pieces. So I also had all of these polka dots from this other Wild Whisper collection. And I think it's called um, Let Us Dine or Let Us Eat or something like that. And it's just a bunch of polka dots and hearts. So I made sure that every cluster had the same amount of color, like one color each, and then a heart each. And um, I added a chair and lamps <laughs> to every single cluster. And I am a fan of how this turned out. So please don't forget to check the description box below for everyone who's playing along with the Coast to Coast collaboration. This is our last one for the, for the year of 2023. And I am so happy to have been a part of this. Um, yes, it will be continuing next year. So I'm super excited for that. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you.